Vaheguru Ji Ka Khausa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. The institution of Langar was started by Guru Nanak Dev Ji, formalized by Guru Amar Das Ji, and enforced by every Guru Sahiban and the Panther up till today. Before this, Langar was loosely defined as free food. But Langar is actually more than that. By definition, Langar actually means a communal kitchen where food is prepared and served to anyone and everyone regardless of background, status and belief system. Wherever you see a Nishan Sahib, a Gurdwara or wherever there is a Prakash of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj or wherever you see Sikhs, you can definitely find Langar. Anyone is welcome to the Gurdwara. This is the concept of Ji Ayani. And whenever you need food, the Sikhs are always ready to prepare Langar and feed you. This is a sign of Tiyar Bhartiya. How come Gurdwara food, Guru Ka Langar, is so much more delicious than home cooked food or even restaurant food? The secret is a core ingredient. The sevadars who prepare langar or the langris, they are always reciting gurbani when preparing langar. Or gurbani is always being played in the background when langar is being prepared in the kitchen. Then this langar is first served to Guru Sahib and we do our das, Anak Prakar, Pojan, Bhokye, Bhobinjan, Mastai, Kari, Paksa, Soch, Pavitra, Hun, Lavho, Pog, Hararai. We do Benti to Guru Sahib, that's such a pasha. Please, Poglao to the Khana. The significance of the Karpan Pet on the Langar shows that Guru Sahib has accepted and they have tasted the food and now this food is ready to be served to the Sangat. The same food is then served to the Sangat who comes to the Guru Kar to have Langar. So if we think about it Sangat Ji, there's Gurbani, the essence of Gurbani in the food, in the Langar that we are eating and we can't find that in outside food. In a Gurukar, there are two types of langar being served. One is the langar of Gurshabad, and second is the langar of Pojan. The langar of Gurshabad, we get it when we sit in Sangat, we listen to Katha, Kirtan, we do the Sangat of Guru Sahib. And langar of Gurshabad is the food for soul. And when we sit in Sangat, Guru Sahib blesses us. But that kirpa, that blessing, we can't see with his physical eyes. On the other hand, the Guru Ka Langar that we have is the physical blessing that Guru Sahib gives us. Guru Ka Langar is food for the physical body. So in a way, when we go to a Gurdwara, our soul gets blessing and our physical body gets blessed by Guru Sahib as well. Now, let's move on to the Langar Hall. When we go and have Langar, the first thing you will realize that everyone sits in Pangat. So in a Darbar, we all sit in Sangat. But when we are having Langar, we sit in Pangat. What is Pangat? Pangat is basically everyone sitting in a straight line, in a row, to have food. This teaches us the value of equality and non-judgment. When we sit in Pangat, we cannot choose where we want to sit. Someone sitting next to us could be a beggar, could be someone from a different faith, could be someone from a different background. And we cannot demand to be treated differently than other people. Guru Sahib teaches us that everyone is equal in the eyes of the Guru. When the Langri comes to serve food, at that point, we cannot demand to be served a different type of food. Whatever is served to us, we have to accept it. So this teaches us the value of Pana Manana. Langar is being served in Gurdwaras all around the world on a daily basis. Have we wondered where does all this money come from to fund Langar? Trust me when I say that Langar is funded by Sangat for the Sangat. Langar started with just 20 rupees when Guru Nanak Deji served a group of sadhus. And today, almost 6 million meals are served in one day. Harmandir Sahib alone serves hundreds and thousands of meals in one day alone. Where does all this money come from? This comes from the Daswand and the donation of the Sangat. So if we think about it Sangaji, we are actually one big family feeding each other, serving each other, 
supporting each other through the concept of langar. Through the swand and giving donations to serve langar, this teaches us to be a dani and to have daya, compassion. Because two of the values to be a tarmic person is to have daya and to be a dani. But the giving is only parwan if we give unconditionally. Langar was being served almost 500 years ago. It's being served today and will continue to be served in the future. Why? Because Guru Gobind Singh Ji said, Deg Teg Fateh. The Fateh, the victory of the Panth, is based on two things. Deg, which means cauldron, which signifies serving humanity through Langar, through helping the global humanity, irregardless of belief system and background. And Teg, sword, which signifies that a Khalsa protects other people and that the duty of the Khalsa is to serve humanity. So Sangaji, in conjunction with Langar Week, let's internalize the values of Langar. Let's try to even serve one person, Langar, and share this video with other people so they too can learn the value and the meaning behind Langar. Forgive me for any mistakes that I've made. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.